This is what I call cold weather camping in style. Built my first natural shelter and even came with a mattress. Pine scented. Dub C here, we're back with another Survival Saturday. Finally get to do some cold weather camping. I'm really excited to test out some of my current gear as well as some new gear. So for my new gear, th special thanks to Ryan Outdoors, I got a new sled. You can see it's a camo sled uh, from Chappelle Jet Sled for carrying gear out in the snow. It's been working great so far. Uh, I also have an SE uh, dual side thermal mat I want to try out. I'll be sleeping in a tent tonight in a, like a natural shelter. Then I have for the ration, I'll be eating a 24 hour freeze dried German ration. Really excited to check this out. And this opportunity also gives me a chance to test out a bunch of my other gear that I've already gotten, such as the Teton sleeping bag, um, the Arctic coat, and I also got the bibs that go with the coat. Okay, it's time to set up base camp. So I'm going to be taking one of the trees, kind of wedging it in a Y formation, bringing it down, and then laying logs across that. In front of that, I'd like to have a Siberian log fire, and that's why I practice everything to get it ready. But I have a lot of clearing to do, so I'll show some of that. Okay, I want to do a quick little update. I got the base camp kind of cleared out. Uh, still got a lot of work to do, but I did get the frame log up. This will be putting the logs across this to kind of make a wall on it uh, to protect me from the wind and the elements. Okay, making good progress so far. So I've got uh, the logs laid across up top, and I'm going to continue all the way down. It's providing a nice cover right now, but I'm going to fill the gaps in with brush and like pine that I find. Uh, and then also I got a gap to fill back here with the pine. But once all that's closed up, I'll clear out the bottom and start planting out the fire. It's almost lunchtime, but I want to make as much progress on this as I can before I eat. All right, I got a lot of the gaps closed off with pine. I still got a couple more layers to go. The big hole in the back, that was a huge improvement as far as wind reduction. I had to take a layer off. I had to take my hoodie off because it was getting too hot. I'm starting to sweat, and I don't want to sweat out here. Um, and I always got to remind myself to drink water because I'm not really necessarily thirsty, but I know I usually drink a lot of water, and I'm doing all this work. I just got to remind yourself on this cold weather. But it's lunchtime, so I figured it would be a perfect time to bust in this 24-hour freeze-dried German ration and see what it's all about. Uh, so I'll be eating lunch real quick and then I can finish set up with the camp. We have the combat ration individual. It's a German type 11. It's a NATO approved. I believe the pack date is 2013. It's just taped at the bottom. So we'll break that tape. And it opened up. It's got all silver packaging. So right off the bat we got uh, grapefruit drink. We got a orange isotonic drink, and I'm not sure what that one is. Don't have a translator with me, so I'm just gonna have to do the best I can. I got some matches. I'm really excited to try those to start the fire. This is the coffee extract. This is the chewing gum. Got a cappuccino drink. That sounds awesome. We got two tea extracts. Another coffee extract. 
I believe these are sugar. This is the disinfectant wipe. We got a sesame bar. And looking at all, all the dates, it definitely looks like it was a 2013 pack date. This is a 2014 on this one. Um, not sure what that is. I'll have to open that up and check it out. I believe that might be some salt. We got some more sugars. Looks like two, four, six more sugars. We got a cereal bar, apple cinnamon. Another drink. This is an exotic drink. It's really good. Maybe uh, some creamer, maybe. I think that's a shake of some sort. And then we have our mains. So they, uh, it is a vegetarian main. So we got uh, looks like a lunch main. And then this is a mousse for the dessert. And then for dinner, we got some couscous. And then for breakfast, I mean, we got some muesli with some fruit. That sounds fantastic. And then the last couple things, we got another cereal bar, cranberry. Looks like another creamer. And I'll figure this stuff out more indefinitely. So we have uh, another salt, some water purification tabs. It looks like a sheet has a kind of all the ingredients on it. There we go. It's got even uh, right there for English. You'll have to read through that. But if you want to read through that, that's pretty cool. And then it has a nice, actually, a couple sets of. Really durable napkins, like almost like paper towel, so that's really nice. Okay, so we're gonna have this main, which is it looks like a potato pot when it's uh, translated. This looks like wheat germ biscuits, a grapefruit drink, cereal bar cranberry, a banana milkshake or dairy shake, and then a coffee. Okay, got some water boiling up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the cereal bar cranberry open. Take a look at that. And then also take a look at some of the wheat germ biscuits. Very cool. I think they're little biscuits. I'll be sharing these between at lunch and dinner. The water's ready for our main and our coffee. So we're going to answer eight ounces of water for the coffee. And then we'll open up the main and add that. I don't know if it's like a mashed potato type deal, but it's, um, it says like a potato pot. It says add 500 milliliters of water, which we got. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it smells fantastic. It does look like mashed potatoes, but loaded. And it didn't, uh, this, I didn't see anything fresh and come with a utensil, so I'm just going to use one of my tactical sports. I got them in for a trading company. Now we're going to add our coffee to our hot water. Coffee is a fine powder. Let's go ahead and add that. And we got our grapefruit drink we're going to make up. I believe this grapefruit drink takes 400 milliliters of water. And then we'll also be making up the banana dairy shake. Here's the banana dairy shake. It says 200 milliliters for this, so it doesn't take too much. I added the water to the banana dairy shake give it an easy mix and add a water to the grapefruit as well Sam start trying some stuff out so we'll try the cranberry bar first the cranberry bar is great um, it has a nice bite to it even when it's cold it's not rock hard so that's nice and the cranberries really pop out they have a nice sweet and tangy flavor I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wash it down with this coffee all right with eight ounces of water the coffee is very very bold and bitter. I'm not that, saying that's a bad thing. I actually enjoy it, but it is a very strong coffee flavor. I'll try one of these wheat biscuits. These are very nice. They're not sweet or savory. They kind of work for both. 
and they're just a nice texture, crumbly texture, like a truly like a biscuit. But overall, I really enjoy those. It would go good with coffee. It would go with, good with a main or a dessert, in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it down with this grapefruit drink. Oh, that's actually really refreshing. It's very tart and has a subtle sweetness. It's really enjoyable. I'm not a huge fan of grapefruit flavor, but it's not that strong. So it's actually pretty awesome for me. I really enjoy that drink. Now we're going to try the main. One thing I thought was interesting, there's no Ziploc on here, unless I did it wrong. But um, I just folded it over to keep it warm. And it looks like it's reconstituted, ready to eat. It's like the texture of like a loaded mashed potatoes. Wow, I did not know what to expect with this main. I tell you what, I really enjoy it. If you took broccoli and cheese soup, merged it with a loaded baked potato, that's what you get. And it has like little bits of vegetables in there that have a nice bite. But that flavor, I don't need to add nothing to it. I did, you know, no spice or anything. It's just really nice for this cold weather because it's it's really warming. I'm gonna try the banana dairy shake. It didn't mix up all the way. I'm just gonna keep on working on it. But it's probably not helping that the water's cold. Even though I didn't do a great job mixing it up, it still has a nice banana flavor. And I, I actually still enjoy it. So I'm gonna continue to work on that and mix that up. But I wanna get that mega bite. So I wanna throw a couple of these wheat germ biscuits in here to get a texture. So it has a nice bite, this main. So I broke a couple up. Mix them in. Here we go. Oh yeah, that took an already awesome main and just made it even better by giving that crunch with the flavor. Absolutely fantastic lunch. But I got a lot of work to do on the shelter, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and start working on it. <laughs> Okay, I got the foundation for my Siberian log fire set up. I'm losing daylight fast. I'm just gonna make a pine bed and sleep on that. So it's gonna be a nice, really nice natural shelter. So I'm gonna start working on the pine bed right now. Okay, I went ahead and processed some uh, pine. This is all deadfall that uh, has come around. They had a big storm. So to make a pine bed, basically I'm gonna take it and make sure that it's all drooping down and start laying out evenly across. You want it to be about a foot thick so when you lay down on it, it kind of compresses. Uh, so I processed a good amount, but I don't know how much I got. And if I have extras, I'll just continue filling the gaps on my uh, shelter. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this and try and get this done. All right, I got the uh, pine needle all facing, so all the pokey stuff is down. And it looks good so far, but got to test it out. So I'll lay on it and see if there's any protruding sticks or anything I got to remove. But uh, that should give me enough insulation or ground cover right there. Let's go ahead and try it out. Well, that's pretty nice. It's better than I thought it would be. And I'll also be using my sleeping bag too, so that'll help for comfort, but that's surprisingly comfortable. Huh. Did not expect that. Now I don't want to get up. But I got to. 
Okay, I believe the shelter's done. It's time to make a fire, and then we can set up the bed. Here's the matches from the German ration. Got a nice seal on them. They actually come in a booklet, and they're actually wood. So that's a really nice touch. Let's see how good they work. I'm using some uh, homemade tender I got. I made up. These matches work great. Wow. Everything is kind of cold and wet, so we're going to see how far we can get. All it took was one match, and uh, we got a nice, really nice fire going. Those uh, wooden matches, they burn hot and fast, and I uh, really like those. They got cold quick, too. I'm glad I got this fire going about the perfect timing, because uh, it dropped off about 10 degrees when that sun went down. So now, I just got to set up the bed. It's time to get the kind of bed layout. Got a nice high fire going. After I get the bed layout, I get the dinner going from that German uh, ration. So I'm not sure if I want to put this on the inside of the sleeping bag or the outside. But right now, I'm just going to put it on the outside. And it's like a little foam pad. It's got little hooks on the bottom that kind of wrap around. And I'll put the hooks at the bottom so they don't bother me. And then one thing I like about it is it's got that reflective coating. So it reflects the heat back up at you. So I'll lay that out and then I'll put the sleeping bag on top of it for now. If that doesn't work, then I'll, um, I can put it inside as well. Now that I got the mat laid out, it's time to get the sleeping bag out. This is the Teton negative 29 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag. So definitely rated for the right. It also has like a mummy bag option that I'll definitely have to be using tonight where you can wrap up your neck and your face with the uh, pull strings inside the sleeping bag. Fire's definitely roaring. It's actually almost too hot, but I just got to get the... Uh, Bot base log burning, so uh, have a good all-night fire. Now, it's time for dinner. So I'm going to bust out the German ration and see what we got. Okay, for dinner, we're going to be having the rest of the wheat biscuits. we got the mousse for dessert, tea extract for drink, the couscous main, and uh, I believe it's a citron drink. And then I just want to speak again on how awesome these matches are. It only took one to get a nice fire going. But uh, I really like that they're wood. And I'll be keeping these for other trips. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, mix up the drink. And this one, this water comes with ice in it. So that's really nice. Water's starting to ice over a little bit. Tea actually calls for 450 milliliters of water. I'm not sure if hot or cold, but I wanted it hot. So let's warm it up. No, I, usually I'll get the tea in the bags. I've never seen a tea extract like this before. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and mix up this mousse too, because it's just cold. It says add about uh, 160 milliliters. All right, we got the water ready for the couscous. It's a vegetarian dish. Didn't mind the lunch at all, so I'm really excited for this one. Hoping this one will even beat it. So it looks really good. Has a nice flavor. Uh, smell right off the bat. This one calls for 300 milliliters. Dump it all in. All right, since I've already tasted the wheat biscuits, I'll go right into the drink. This drink has a smell of lemon lime. It looks like it. Let's taste it. The lemon lime drink, for sure. It has a reminiscence of a, a sports drink. Really refreshing. Really good lemon lime flavor. Let's go ahead and uh, Check out this mousse. See how it's doing. Oh wow. It's got a really awesome texture. It's like a marshmallow fluff. Let's go ahead and try that. This mousse is great for two reasons. One, the texture is something I have not seen in the ration before. 
It is like marshmallow fluff or like whipped cream. Very cool texture. And the flavor is like a very, very light lemon. Um, but mostly like a vanilla. It has little bits in it. But really good. I really enjoy this dessert. We'll go ahead and uh, try some of this tea. Oh, this tea is very bold. Um, even with 450 milliliters of water. So I'm going to add the sugar to it. So I do like sugar with my tea. Much better with the added sugar. Now it's time to check on the couscous. Oh, it looks like it reconstituted pretty good. Kind of filled out. Let's go ahead and get a bite and see what it's all about. Yet again impressed with these vegetarian mains. It has a lot of flavor. It's like a mushroom slash beef broth. Uh, the vegetables reconstituted really good. They have a nice bite. And the couscous just absorbed all the water. And just turned out really good. Again, I wouldn't have to add any spices to this. It's a, I could eat it just like it is. I'm going to go ahead and finish this dinner up and then tend the fire and keep setting up camp. Iberian log fire is in full effect. And it is... I'd say it's a little bit too warm right now. So I'm going to let it calm down. Because uh, I might have built the shelter a little bit too close. Or the fire too close to it. It's like steaming up the ground in front of it. All that snow that was there is now gone. The only thing I did learn about is the snow that's kind of built into my shelter is now kind of melting and dripping on my sleeping bag. So yeah, I definitely learned some lessons today. Um, Got to watch the spacing on a fire. Also make sure there's try to eliminate as much snow as you can with what you built because all the heat coming in into the shelter, like I said, is melting the snow dripping down, falling on the sleeping bag, and I don't want to be wet. Luckily, the heat from the fire is drying everything out quickly. Um, yeah, overall, a lot of, did a lot of things I have not tried before. I got a nice pine bed, got Siberian log fire, um, working good. Now I'm just going to make sure I have enough wood uh, to stoke it for the rest of the night. Should burn a long time, but we'll see supposed to get down to 10 or below tonight so it's going to be a cold night for sure okay it's bedtime so the fire's died down a little bit i'm going to stoke it one more time and then uh go ahead and get in bed i took off my arctic gear so i'm just going to be rocking the shirt and pants uh in the sleeping bag um i mean luckily i got some awesome new pants thanks to my good friend adam he's in the mra community he actually hooked me up with some L.A. police gear because I was kind of complaining about how I have some nice tactical pants, but they are very durable, but they come with a the price. They're difficult to maneuver in. They're not comfortable. And he said, try these out. And he uh, sent those in my way, and they are much more comfortable, and I can maneuver in them really. Uh, I don't know, there's so much more movement I can get out of them without being uncomfortable. But now I'm just going to unzip the sleep bag and then bundle up and sleep my first night in the natural shelter. Alright, I'm toasty warm. I'll see you guys in the morning. So I guess this lights out. Okay, it's morning time. It's currently about 6 degrees Fahrenheit. I slept really good in the shelter. The sleeping bag, as long as you stay inside the sleeping bag, you have no problems. Uh, the fire did die out about, I want to say, 5 a.m. So, shortly after I got up, stoked the fire, went to make some coffee, and everything's froze. The pots and pans, all my all my mess gear. So, I got that sitting by the fire right now. It's something new that I'll have to think about next time. Um, but it did snow about, I'd say, about four inches, three to four inches. And no snow came in here. And I'll show a picture of the... Uh, shelter uh, I've actually held all the snow off me and no wind it's actually um, this first natural shelter worked out really good all right now I can finally have my coffee I got all my gear kind of put by the fire and it was able to open it up so this is the I'm using the 
coffee extract from the German ration. And this coffee is amazing right now. So I did have a little nervousness um, waking up. And the reason I say that is it was nice and warm in the sleeping bag. But I knew it was really cold out here. And um, when I got up, I was like, you know how your hands start getting cold and you can't get them warm again? Like, I was trying to keep that from happening. Um, I did use the matches to start another fire, and it only took one again the from the German ration. Um, but just had that feeling like, okay, if I don't get this fire going, you know, my hands are going to continue to get cold, and I'm going to have problems. Because I went to grab my gloves. My gloves were frozen. And then same with my bibs and my other stuff. Everything was, like, just frozen. It's just new experience, right? I, I, I'll learn where to put it in the future next time. Like, I put my boot, boots in the shelter, and they worked out all right. I mean, they, they, you know, they were warm with me in the shelter, so to speak, and I could put them right on, and everything was fine. They were cold, but they weren't like... I went to grab my bibs, and they were, like, folded, almost frozen. They were a little... I, I got to try air dry them out a little bit better because, you know, if you sweat or anything like that, you might get them wet. But... Just all lessons. Just a lot of lessons out here in this cold cold weather camping. Learning a lot and having a lot of fun. And I tell you what, that fire feels real nice. And um, I'm really excited to bust into that German ration breakfast. Because dinner and lunch have just been amazing. That is, I, you, always, you always open another ration and say, you know, let's see what this one's all about. And I always hope to find that n next favorite one. This... This may be my next favorite one. But that's what we got next. So go ahead and bust in that German ration breakfast time. Okay, for breakfast we're having the muesli. I believe with fruit. We have a cereal bar, apple cinnamon, sesame bar, cappuccino, and an orange drink. Go ahead and get the orange drink mixed up. And then I'll add the powder to the cup for cappuccino. Having the water by the fire definitely helps. So it's not too cold. And then I do have my water boiling for the cappuccino and the muesli. Because I'm going to eat the muesli hot. And I'm wondering if the cappuccino looks really good. So we can open up our apple cinnamon bar. Looks a lot like the cranberry bar. See how it compares to like an apple cinnamon first strike bar. I definitely should have warmed that up before biting it. It was rock hard, but overall... Very subtle apple cinnamon flavors. Nice bar. Great for breakfast. Let's go ahead and open up this muesli and get it ready for the water. Very interesting. There's no Ziplocs on these. None of them. All kinds of... Get the fruit. Nice blend of all kinds of breakfast materials in there. So we'll get the, get the water and get it going. Okay, I got the water for cappuccino. And then uh, this calls for about 150 milliliters. And then the water for the muesli is 125 milliliters. So it doesn't call for that much. I'm going to try the cappuccino real quick. Cappuccino is very subtle, coffee flavor. Um, overall, very smooth. Um, it kind of tastes like vanilla, but I know it's not that strong. There's no way I'm going to try and eat this cold like this. So I'm just going to put it in the cappuccino and let it warm up. This is the sesame bar, and they're hard even when they're warm. I'm going to go ahead and try the orange drink. This is so nice. It's just like orange juice. It tastes like orange juice to me. And a lot of the other orange drinks, they have that artificial orange or... They go like a sports drink. This legitimately tastes to me like orange juice. And that's really nice breakfast. Sesame bar warmed up. I've been wanting to try that ever since I've seen Steve do it. And it makes perfect sense. It makes this very pliable. And it does not hurt your teeth to chew on it. And it tastes really good with that cappuccino. So I'm putting the rest in there. Time to try out the muesli. Very hearty looking muesli too. I'm very impressed with all these travel lunch mains. This muesli is very hearty. It has big chunks of fruit in there. 
lots of granola, lots of grains. Overall, very, very hearty meal and very enjoyable. All the flavors have been spot on. Another fantastic meal from this German combat ration individual type 11. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and we'll talk more in final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts on the overnight, the gear, and the food. The overnight was fantastic. Got to learn a lot, got to try a lot. Built my first natural shelter. It snowed. It kept the snow off me. Um, built my first pine bed. It was very comfortable. I did put this uh, dual-sided thermal mat on top of it to see if I can make sure they keep any ground cold from getting to me, and it worked out pretty good. This was a pretty comfortable mat, and it's pretty lightweight, and would be great for a survival situation. So... I'll definitely be keeping this around. It's I don't know how durable it is, but uh, you know, after continued use, is it going to hold up? We'll see. But it'd be nice to have the, just as a you know lightweight backpacking thing. Now for the food, had this German 24-hour freeze dried. It was type 11. Now it was vegetarian, but I'm going to tell you, I think this is one of my favorite rations overall. All the mains were fantastic. Didn't need any additional spice. Any additional seasonings. The coffee was great. The tea was great. The drinks were great. I mean, I enjoyed everything about this ration. It sustained me for the time I was out here. I was able to keep cutting wood, keep building my shelter, and I didn't have any, you know, had good energy. So I definitely think this one is definitely awesome. I'm excited to try more. And this was, I believe, packaged in 2013, so it's like seven years old, and it's still perfectly fine. But again, Got also got to test all my current gear. So my Arctic coat, bibs. Not only did I make it, but I did it comfortably. The gloves, everything that I've kind of got for these cold weather trips, I'm very happy to say that it's all performing very well. In the sleeping bag, that Teton negative uh, 29 degrees Fahrenheit sleeping bag. It, it I, I couldn't even tell it was cold out being in that and you just can make sure that you cover your head and use all the you know the pull cords to tighten up like, like a mummy bag that thing's fantastic so i'm excited to learn more explore more and do bigger trips but this was a really nice trip so that's all i got now so thanks for watching have a great day